We're on with Matt, co-coach of the Stonewall Jets of the MMJHL. Matt, you've come off your first season as a championship team. How does it feel going into the season knowing you're the championship team? Well, Ben, thanks for having me on today. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, the summer flew by. It's, uh, it's kind of crazy to be thinking that we're already at the rink for a week now, and uh, we're heading into the Railer Express tournament this weekend, and... Uh, yeah, you know, it's, it's definitely setting the bar for the up-and-comers coming up wanting to be a Stonewall Jet. They know that we're a championship team, and uh, our goal this year is to defend our title. Camp is open. Uh, how many players were in camp, and did you see a difference this year as being the championship team? Yeah, uh, camp opened there last week. Uh, we had 30 skaters out, uh, three goalies, um, you know, yeah, you know, we definitely seen uh, an increase of uh, skaters out at our camp because of the championship. But that being said, uh, you know, we have a good good core of nucleus coming back. We uh, we ended up losing five five guys last year, um, but which doesn't leave a ton of spots open for guys coming up. But uh, at camp last week and, and moving into this week, we got guys that are already turning heads of the coaching staff and, and the. Uh, and the personnel upstairs watching, so we're excited uh, moving forward with with the uh, with the talent level, and uh, like I said, with that nucleus coming back from last year, we're we're very happy. Uh, coming off a championship and only losing five players is in this league is kind of remarkable when you consider it's almost a twenty one year old league, but only losing five players and still having your goaltender. Uh, I think uh, you guys are going to be right up there in the top uh, again this year. What do you think? Yeah, I agree. I uh, starting on the back end there uh, with Hunter Plaza. Uh You know, this kid still has this year and next year left in the league. He uh, was the playoff MVP for us last year. And then moving up to our back end there, we got uh, basically five or six guys returning this year. Uh, we lost Tanner Faulkner. Um, then, and then up front, you know, we got that that strong group. We uh, we kind of play ourselves around. We, you know, starting with Chase Faulkner, um, Robert Smith, uh, Eric Swanson, Adam Blight. Uh, you know, the list goes on. And, and we're a very deep team this year. Uh, a lot of our success was rolling four lines right through the entire playoffs last year. And uh, with uh, Brock and I doing the coaching duties this year that's our goal is to be uh, a deep team and uh, we definitely have the foundation laid right now for that pair of games this weekend at the Transcona tournament uh, will you be doing some cuts after that or are you waiting for another exhibition game yeah we're uh, we're going to take everyone that signed up for camp into the tournament this weekend uh, like I said we had a decent amount of guys out but not not, not a role you know, crazy amount of numbers. So we got three games. Uh, Friday night we played six. Uh, Saturday at uh, 3.30 and I believe Sunday at 1. So we're going to get a look at these guys in game action. Uh, you know, running drills throughout the week is a lot different than, uh, you know, having a referee out there and put some body contact into it. So we want to see where, you know, our grade 11s, you know, stand out or, or sit in our, in our uh, depth chart moving forward. Uh, then we also want to see, you know, some of these guys that are coming back as a 20-year-old, their 20-year-old season, see where they fit in, right? See uh, what kind of shape they're in, uh, maybe what they've missed out not playing competitive hockey for a year. Um, but, yeah, after the weekend, we'll definitely be cutting down, and our final exhibition game goes uh, that following week against St. Boniface. The Manitoba Sports Network, we sat down this morning and, and did our predictions for the top 10, uh, how all 10 teams will rank through the season. We picked you as number four. Do you think we're high or do you think we're low? Well, seeing as that's where we finished last year, you know, I'd be all right with the top four finish. Uh, you know, we had a tough battle in the playoffs there after the first, well, actually the first round we played St. Patel and they gave us our, our biggest run last year. But, yeah, we feel as an organization, a top four finish in the MMJHL is a great place to be. Of course, setting our sights on the uh, Andy Moulder trophy there it is the ultimate goal for us moving forward. But, uh, you know, it comes down to that nucleus of guys that I mentioned. It comes down to the consistency. And then it comes down to Brock Cooch and myself 
ensuring that the right guys are in the right roles, um, peaking at the right time, you know, all these uh, scenarios play into uh, defending our championship this year. Some people don't understand it, but uh, the coaching role, it's, it's one step, one step, next step, build the team, get them to the right stage at the right time so when you hit playoffs, you're hit it running. And that first round is always tough to get by. But after that first round for you guys last year, you pretty much just walked right through the next two teams. Yeah, absolutely, Glenn. It, uh, you, you nailed it right on the head there. It's, uh, it's about getting past that first round with some momentum. Like last year, we went into the, the postseason with a six-game winning streak. We won the first one, and then we ended up losing three straight. And then uh, we went on from there to, uh, to to win the championship. But yeah, like you said, it's, uh, it's about peaking at the right times. It's 